Hi, my name's Lee, I'm from Surfex Interior Film. I'm just gonna show you today how quick and easy it is to wrap a door. Normal standard door, just to let you know, it's always best to try and take off all fixtures and fittings, because then when you've got a nice flat surface, it's easier to wrap everything and get a better finish. So, I've got a range of different colors we can use. We've got everything from wood grains, marble, different various colors. I think today we're gonna to go for the red. So what I'm just gonna do is obviously lay it on there, cut our vinyl down a little bit so we haven't got too much. Now I've already prepped the door and rubbed it down. Just make sure I've got enough vinyl to wrap around all wedges. That's what I need, that there. Obviously with all architectural finished vinyls, they are a lot thicker than uh, normal car vinyls. So some people might find that wrapping these are a little bit different to uh, car wrapping, which they are. Let's get rid of this. Gone for a nice bright red colour, nice and stand out. With this, you can generally just leave the vinyl there and then start off on one end. Everyone obviously always does laying vinyl different ways, but I always say to them, as long as you get the same uh, result and finish at the end, And it's just a matter of rolling your squeegee over it, up and down, side to side. All we'll just have to watch out for now is this little part of the uh, door handle. I'll do a little cut in that now. So then the vinyl will still sit flat. The flatter the vinyl sits, I feel like the better result you get. keeping the vinyl up so you can if you looked under there you see that there's where this backing curves round it keeps the vinyl away from the door until you're ready to lay it and then that just stops any air bubbles forming but also with saying that in mind this is a good material and it's air release material so if you do get a random bubble in the middle here, you can just push it out with your thumb. I'm gonna cut these, what they call envelope cut. So I'll just cut a bit of an angle on each corner. So that basically you can wrap each piece separately. And I'll get wrapping gloves, it just tends to sort of glide over the vinyl a bit easier. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling down to pull in the vinyl tight and then obviously rubbing along that edge so you get a nice sort of smart finish against there. Otherwise what tends to happen over exaggerated, it, it gives a bit of a bubble effect there. So just go all the way along the long edges. Again, just keep pulling down, making sure you've got any bubbles in there out. Cut away where the lock is.
what we're going to probably do on this door is just with the red go halfway down and then now where you've got this envelope overlap on the bit where we cut the corner I tend to pull that one tight around that way so it's nice and tight on that edge then I'll cut back but cut going straight down that just gives it a nice straight edge rather than angled do the same on this side put it around nice and tight Again, trim it back straight then don't know why I just tend to do the long edges first overhang it so you can wrap it said earlier it's good to try and get all fixture and fittings off obviously on this side there's some hinges so I can just cut around them getting rid of the excess vinyl do the same with the corners and cut it off straight start with the top and bottoms what I want to do on this one because the bottom of the door hasn't actually got a solid bit of wood on this base one I'm just going to trim it level you can do two options obviously folding it depending on how tight your door is because obviously you don't want any of the vinyl to pick up. But on this top one, because it's got a solid bit of wood, I'm gonna wrap it all around. And there's a couple of ways to do this one. I tend to just like to cut it nice and level with the edge of the door and on this one what we do we just cut the excess off out there there is so many different methods that you can use to wrap a door so now 
now we'll just cut out the lock a bit better. And then what we can do, we'll put the handle back. It just goes to show how good and effective it looks. Taking things off like this just makes things, you know, so much easier. You could do it with it on still. This is good enough final to do it. It just means, you know, there's a little bit more sometimes if doors have got door handles and um, letter boxes. So that's one door fully wrapped and finished. All the edges are nice and tight. What you can do as well, you can also add some heat and we'll probably show that on the next video.